said parametric equations are usually composed of you know two parts and you can see this is like the horizontal component the x component as a function of t usually we think of t as time and then over here we have y which is like the vertical component and then that uh, y value is a function of time as well but what we want to do is we want to eliminate that parameter t and just get an equation in terms of uh, x and y so let's see if we can do that so in this example what we're going to do is we're going to solve for t in that top equation so we're going to do that by getting t by itself so x minus 1 subtract the 1 equals 2t we're going to divide by 2 okay so that now we have t equals x minus 1 over 2 now if we put that in for t in the second equation we get y equals 4 times x minus 1 over 2 and you can see the 4 and the 2 are going to cross reduce and then we can distribute the 2 into the parentheses so we get y equals 2x minus 2 so now we have a, an equation just in terms of x's and y's if we want to graph it what you can do is of course we can graph this just as a slope intercept form of a line the slope is going to be 2 and the y-intercept is negative 2 so we're going up 2 over 1 up 2 over 1 and there's our line right there but the other uh, component of this that you want to pay attention to is the direction so are we going this way as t increases or are we going this way as t increases and what you can do is just make a quick table okay like this and you can just say all right when t is 0 what are the x and y coordinates so if I put uh, 0 in for t here, you can see I'm getting x equals 1. And if I put 0 in for t here, you can see I'm getting 0. Okay. And then if I put t equals 1, that's 2 plus 1, which is 3. And if I put 1 here, I'm getting 4. So you can see we're going, as t is getting larger and larger, as it's increasing, we're going from 1, 0, okay, over to 3, 4. So that means that we're going in this direction. And we can just indicate that with these little arrows along the the line there so with increasing values of t we're going that direction along the line okay now the second example we're going to look at this one here x equals 4 cosine theta plus 3 y equals 9 sine theta minus 2 now just a quick reminder remember the Pythagorean trig identities you remember this uh, one here cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta equals 1 well, if you do, okay, we're going to use this, okay, to, again, eliminate that parameter. In this case, our parameter is theta, okay, the angle theta. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to solve for cosine, and we're going to solve for sine. So what I mean by that is we're going to get the cosine by itself. So in this top equation, we're going to subtract 3 and divide by 4. So we get cosine theta equals x minus 3 divided by 4. Same thing in this bottom equation, we're going to get the sine by itself, so we're going to add 2 and divide by 9. So we get sine of theta equals y plus 2, all divided by 9. So now what we can do is we can substitute in place of cosine theta, x minus 3 divided by 4, the quantity squared, because you see this is cosine squared, plus y plus 2 divided by 9 squared since that's the sine of theta and that equals 1 now if we take it just one step further simplify it a little bit more we get x minus 3 squared over 16 plus y plus 2 squared over 9 squared of course which is 81 equals 1 okay so you're with me so far so this is the form of, of what type of a equation an ellipse right so if we want to graph this ellipse you can see it's centered at 3, negative 2, 1, 2, 3, negative 2. Okay, and we're going 4, the square root of 16, 4 in the x direction, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, right there, 4 in the other direction. Okay, and then the y direction, we're going up 9 and down 9, the square root of 81. So that's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, right about there. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 right about there and then there's our ellipse right like that okay now the only thing left for us to figure out is the direction are we going you know counterclockwise or are we going clockwise and again what I would do is I'd make a little table like this okay so I'd say here's theta here's x and y so if theta is zero radians okay that would be what that would be cosine of zero is one times four is four plus three is seven so we're here at seven 
Sine of zero though is zero times nine is zero, minus two is negative two. So we're starting over here at seven negative two, somewhere down around here, okay? And then if let's say, um, let's say this is 90 degrees or pi over two, okay? Well, cosine of 90 degrees is gonna be what? It's gonna be zero times four is zero, plus three is three. Sine of 90 degrees is one, times nine is nine, minus two is seven. So you can see we're moving from Okay, now this is three, seven up here approximately. So with increasing, okay, values of theta, as theta is getting larger and larger, we're moving from this point to this point, and that tells us that we're gonna be moving in this direction around the ellipse, okay? All right, so I hope this video helped you understand parametric equations and how to eliminate the parameter better. Subscribe to the channel, check out some of my past videos, and I'll see you in the next video. I'll talk to you soon.